Hello everyone, welcome to a foreigner farming in the Philippines. Let me go over here and check on the chickens. See what they're up to. We had a little sprinkle here for about three minutes. And that was the extent of our rain today. I was looking online at the forecast and it's supposed to rain tomorrow we shall see let's see what's going on in here Yeah, I think I'm going to pull Nerio off helping Tatai Saturday, and I'll help Tatai Saturday, and I'll have Nerio shovel, sh shovel all this back up into a pile. It's kind of gotten scratched down from the chickens themselves. I'd much rather have that in a hill there. What are we thinking, ladies and gentlemen? Hmm? The egg production has started to come up. We're getting almost a dozen again, so I'm going to start incubating. I'll probably put a batch in in about two weeks. If they keep laying the way that they have been. Let's see if we can get some new chicks hitting the ground here. They all seem to be doing okay. That rooster right there has turned into quite a rooster. Wait a minute. I thought we'd only had that one left there. That one. That guy there must have been hiding out somewhere. I thought he had been killed by the dogs. I guess not. He's turned into a pretty good looking rooster. He's exactly the kind of chicken... They have a name for him here, I can't remember. I used to raise that particular breed or something very close to that particular breed in California. The mungs there used them for fighting chickens. That guy right there. Well, hopefully we'll get some crosses out of him, because he's, he's of age. They do grow fairly well. They, they're not a fast grower, but they are, they were highly prized by the mungs. They would, they would pay two or three times as much for that chicken as they would one of these. Because the meat is just different. If you if you pick up that kind of a chicken, just the feel of their body feels like a, a flexed muscle, as opposed to picking up one of these chickens, which feels like a flaccid muscle. It's just a whole different kind of animal. And I'd love some crosses between him and these Kabir and him and the broilers. And that other native rooster there too. He's not a bad looking chicken. I wonder if anyone's collected the eggs so far today. I'm going to set that clunch to incubate in a couple of weeks. And hopefully, that would be a total. Yeah, someone's already got the eggs. 
hopefully that'd be a that well that'd be about a total of three months until they were those chicks were turned out into the flock here and hopefully by then I'll have a chain link fence up around here to keep the dogs out and everything else out that doesn't need to be in here. That's going to be the plan anyway. We'll see how it goes. Come on, dogs. Come on, dogs. Come on, Stubby. Come on. Come on, Stubby. Keep moving. Come on. I'm not going to take any extra effort to get that pup out of there. She can find her own way out. She found her own way in. Come on. Yeah, I'm going to get her out of there. I was hoping if I'd left her in there, one of these roosters would learn her a little bit. But I guess it's not going to happen. Come on. Come on. All right, I'm gonna have to do a little farm justice to her. Come on. Yeah, it's just impossible to have chickens here. With the setup that I've got and all these dogs. And the dogs serve a secondary purpose. So I can't get rid of the dogs. Come on, not head. Hopefully someday I'll get it the way that I want it. <clears throat> Thank you everyone. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe.